Hello, Jessica Works 951. I appreciate you asking the question about the smear frames and about this head shake here that's going on. So, one of the things I like about Anime Studio is the fact that you can take objects that you've already created and stretch them and key their frames. So, here I have his apple falling. When it hits the guy, hits the fly character, I have some pretty weird, you know stretching and squ I guess it's uh, it's kind of more of a smear frame than it is a stretch and squash because it happens so fast but you can see the stretch, stretch and squash on the apple I did that with the group sometimes I'll animate the group and I'll distort the group sometimes I'll distort the layer um, or elements within a group but you can see how I start to stretch that out these guys are basically I'm just animating the points I wanted to create a feeling like he's a little gooey because um, he's an organic object he's a character so he should be a little gooey and then he lands like this he lands and then he shakes like this his head shake and this is what you're asking about is the shake right here so let me get over there I'm going to show you what's going on with that so my character if you look at my layers here, I have them broken down into um, this head group. Inside the head group, you'll see I have a hat and the eye, eyes, the nose, mouth, stash. There's the head. So, what I did, let me zoom in a little more, is. <coughs> I just stretched, I modified the existing shapes that I already had. I didn't create new shapes. Um, I built the eyes in such a way that I just wanted to reuse what I have and then jump back to the model, uh, the model pose that I had to start out with. So I already had that particular eyes closed keyframe right here. So that's, those, that's these guys for the head, for the eye, you know, it's that guy right there. I'll do that. So let's. Ah, looks like I've got a. Yeah. Okay. So then we've got. Um, what I did is I stretched out the eye. I wanted to try to have the head follow an organic line. You know, if, if a person is really shaking their head, no, it's not going to follow a straight line, it's going to be a curve. So I tried to make the nose smear in both directions so in all reality I've got that frame and I've got that frame and what I'm doing is I'm just staggering between them I'm copying I copy that eye copy those two frames and just paste it across I did that with each eye I did that with the mouth you can see that and then um, did that with the head see the egg shape right there but then as he how that changes shape and the way I'm animating this is kind of slow going it's not um, I don't know if I would recommend it for everyone because it's very tedious but um, it's just the way that I like I like to animate and uh, same thing with the hat I needed to toggle that hat back and forth like I say, I'm using the shape. I'm not using the shape for that for this particular thing. I'm using the layers. So I'm just adjusting the layers to give the impression that the hat is turning, even though it's really just flipping back and forth. Now, to sell this motion as an organic motion, what I'm doing is once he lands, the momentum carries his head forward, which is what you might expect. You probably expect the whole body to move forward, but in this case I'm just using the head to create that feeling and then with his eyes shut as his head moves back he shakes and then as he brings his head forward the whole group is animating you can see there as long as well as the, the little objects his eyes and nose and mouth and then as he comes out of it he looks up his eyes blink Okay. So 
that's basically how I did the head shake, and it's it's kind of um, kind of explains how I approach just about everything in this animation. Is I am creating a shape like a head or an eye or a mouth, and then I'm um, shape tweening it. I'm not necessarily popping to different keys. Uh, there are times when I do that. I'll copy a key and I'll I'll move down further down the timeline and I'll paste it where I need it. Um, but I'm trying to keep things feeling organic and original. So anyway, I appreciate you asking the question and I hope that answers the question. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.